Good day friends, my name is Bobby Phillips and I'm based here in Sydney. It's been a long time since I have actually told any story out there on my channel. Now, I have finished about 350 videos and it is time for me to go for the home run. It is coming to a closure, another 15 more videos and I have done with my challenge. So on that context, what I'm going to today, I'm going to explain to you is I'm going to tell you a story about an old monk and his successor. All right. So there is a, this old monk uh, that is about to die. He's on his um, bed, uh, lying out there, and he calls in his successor, a very young chap, and he tells him, "Never, never, don't keep a cat." All right. He tells us, "Don't keep a cat in your life," and then he breathes his last breath and dies. The young uh, monk, who is the successor, is surprised. Like, what kind of a statement is that? Don't keep a cat, and he's thinking all the time. The people there are a lot of people who have come out there to watch and listen to the last statement of the monk, and they are wondering what does that mean. Okay, this old, this young monk is on his knees in front of the body, and he's wondering what happened. So what happens is like the cremation, everything, all the the rituals are done. The cremation is happening, and the old monk has been cremated, and everything is done. But there is no peace of mind for this young young successor. He's sitting out there and he's wondering why his master said that there is don't keep a cat. As he was sitting out there, there's this old Nada monk out there in the monastery. He comes over, he sees that he, this young successor is he's a wise person. He comes over and he sees that this successor is the young one is quite unhappy and, and not contented. The reason why this old person was not given the uh, was not made the successor is because he was already old and he could pass away or he could die anytime soon. So he was not made, made the successor. So he goes up to the young monk and says, like, "What happened, friend? My dear friend, what happened?" And the young successor he narrates this particular story that in his last statement he mentioned, "Don't keep a cat." Now he tells that the young successor, okay. That is quite intense, that is quite deep. There's a long story behind it, but let me try to communicate to you what exactly he meant. So the, the monk uh, tries to explain things to her. A long time ago, the monk who passed away, he leaves his family, his wife, his kids, and he renounces everything and walks away when he was he got the call. Right? He goes out in pursue, pursuing his goals of serving community serving God and he wants to uh, go for um, penance and he wants to go out for meditation and he reaches this particular small village in the outskirts of the village he stands out there and begging for some food and the villagers is quite happy that there's a monk in there in the village and they help him all the time they give him food and all those things and the villagers say that you know what because we consider you as part of our village we are going to give you some clothes so he was given two clothes to wear and so that he, he can uh, be dressed and he does not have to look shabby 